Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you why a over sine a is equal to b over sine b which is equal to c over sine c. Now, to produce this proof we first need to know that b times c times sine a okay, over 2 is equal to the area of a triangle. And the same can be said about, let me see, a times c times sine b over 2 and a times b times sine c over 2. So, these three formulas over here are all equal to the area of a triangle. Now, to prove that a over sine a is equal to b over sine b, we have to make these two values over here be equivalent to one another in an equation. Now, in reality, they are equivalent to one another. They are both equal to the area of a triangle. But to prove that a over sine a is equal to b over sine b, we are going to need both of these formulas. So, let's make them equivalent to one another. So, b times c times sine a over 2 is going to be equal to a times c times sine b over 2. Okay? Now that we've got this, we need to multiply both sides of this equation by an expression. That expression turns out to be 2 over c multiplied by sine a multiplied by sine b. Since we're multiplying this side of this equation by this, we've got to do the same to this side of the equation. Okay? So, we're going to multiply this by 2 over c times sine a times sine b. Okay? So we've done that. Now we've got this equation over here. Since we've got a 2 up here and a 2 down here, they can be cancelled out. And since we've got a c up here and a c down here, these c's can be cancelled out. And since we've got a sine a up here and a sine a down here, they can also be cancelled out. So on this side of the equation, we're left with b over sine b. And that is going to be equal to, let's see, we've got a 2 up here, 2 down here, so they can be cancelled out. We've got a c up here and a c over here, so they can be cancelled out. And we've got a sine b up here and a sine b down there. So they can be cancelled out. So on this side of this equation, we're left with a over sine a. Okay? So we've proven that a over sine a is equal to b over sine b. Okay? Now, let's prove, right, that b over sine b is equal to c over sine c. To do that, we are going to use these two formulas over here. So, we'll say that a times c times sine b over 2 is equal to a times b times sine c over 2. 
Now, what could we multiply both sides of this equation by to get b over sine b is equal to c over sine c? Well, we could multiply both sides of this equation by 2 over, let's see, I've got to concentrate over here, that's a times sine b times sine c. So we're multiplying this side of this equation by 2 over a times sine b times sine c. Since we've multiplied this side of this, this equation by this value, we've got to do the same on this side. So let's do that. So 2 over a times sine b times sine c. All right. So we've got this equation at the moment. Since there's a 2 up here and a 2 down here, they can be cancelled out. Since there's an a up here and an a down here, they can be cancelled out. And since there's a sine b here and a sine b here, they can be cancelled out. So on this side of this equation, we're left with c over sine c. And that is going to be equal to, let's see, we can cancel out the 2 over here, cancel out the 2 over here, right? There's an a up here, a down there, so they can be cancelled out. And there's a sine c up here and a sine c here, so they can be cancelled out. So on this side of this equation, we're left with b over sine b. And since these two are equivalent to one another, and these two are equivalent to one another, it means that a over sine a is equal to c over sine c. And since b over sine b is equal to c over sine c, right? We've proven that a over sine a equals b over sine b, which is equal to c over sine c. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching.